Okay, so I'm glad to be talking to you about uh, two fantastic poems in uh, this session. Uh, Roast Possum by Rita Dove and What Work Is by Phil Levine. Uh, both of these uh, authors have won the Pulitzer Prize, and both of them actually at times have been Poet Laureate of the United States. So we're dealing with uh, a couple major works by major poets here. Uh, we'll start off by talking about uh, Roast Possum by Rita Dove. This is a complicated uh, little poem. It seems at face value to be something relatively simple, but then upon further inspection, ultimately is uh, a more complicated piece. At face value, it's just about a grandfather uh, talking to his grandchildren and trying to give them some lessons on life. Uh, but there are some complicated things here, uh, chief among them being uh, you know, what does the horse represent? What does the possum represent? Uh, you know, why is the encyclopedia in here? Uh, basically, like, what is Rita Dove actually trying to say with this piece? So here's a few little things. Uh, one thing I think is important to note is the fact that an encyclopedia is typically uh, looked upon as something that you can trust, something that you can find facts in. But here, uh, obviously, we see that this encyclopedia says uh, offensive and untrue things about African Americans. So we know that this sort of typical totem of intellect uh, actually isn't necessarily legitimate. Uh, in regards to the possum, uh, some people have actually argued that the possum uh, sort of represents uh, a, a few different things. On one hand, it represents making the best of a bad situation. Uh, if you don't have food to eat, you just sort of eat whatever you can find, and sometimes that's a possum. Some other people say that the possum actually represents uh, African Americans, uh, and that in some ways, when it says, you've got to be careful with a possum when he's on the ground, he'll turn on his back and play dead till you give up looking. That's what you'd call sullen. That The grandfather is actually saying that uh, African Americans... Sometimes it seems like they're down, but they're really just waiting until people stop looking, and that's when, uh, you know, they'll get sort of a greater respect. Um, so there's that possible interpretation. Uh, in regards to the horse, uh, Strolling Jim, there's some complicated things with this. Uh, some people uh, look at it that even though this horse is honored by being under a stone, being buried under a stone like a man, uh, that... Even the best horse is still one that is owned. Um, so in, in a sense, uh, that also represents sort of the, the plight of the African-American in this era, uh, was that even if you were good, you were still going to be sort of looked down upon. Uh, so obviously you can see Rita Dove put in some things that are really sort of ripe for interpretation and have a lot of uh, complicated elements to them. Um, so one thing I think is important is that the grandfather potentially is trying to tell his uh, grandchildren this incredibly sort of complicated allegory about a horse and uh, a about a possum more importantly, but the kids sort of get distracted. Uh, you know, sort of at the end, uh, Malcolm interrupted to ask who owns Strollin Jim and who paid for the tombstone. They stared each other down man to man before Thomas, as a grandfather, replied, Yes, sir, we enjoyed that possum. We ate them real slow with sweet potatoes. So it's sort of like the kid was missing the point. Uh, he wanted to hear the fantabulous story of this horse that could balance a cup of water on his back, when really the grandfather was trying to give him more sort of complex metaphor uh, on their sort of plight in the world. So the kid was ultimately kind of missing the point uh, that was be being made. And in some ways that means the horse represents how we can be distracted by pretty things, but it is important that we go ahead and keep our eye on the goal. Okay, so all of that is sort of embedded in roast possum. There are plenty of other things uh, that you can get out of it too if you continue to look at it even more closely. As for What Work Is by Philip Levine, uh, this is uh, a poem that's very straightforward in many ways, uh, but it does, just like uh, Roast Possum, bring up some issues, not of race this time, but of class. Uh, and class in both of these poems is something interesting to deal with, uh, how one group maybe uh, has an advantage over another. 
uh, in what work is, class plays a role because both the brother, both of the brothers are striving to uh, get into a higher class than they are when in fact they just work at car factories. Um, so the older brother, uh, he's tried, you know, doing what he can, you know, sleep, sleeps off a miserable night shift at Cadillac so he can get up before noon to study his German. Um, that both working at Cadillac and wanting to study opera are both uh, attempts by this brother to make his life a better place. So there's that. But the more key thing about this poem is that it's all about brotherly love. Okay, this is a love poem in a lot of ways. Uh, and it's about that sort of masculine uh, hesitance to show emotion or affection towards another male. And that's how it ends. You know, when it's talking about loving his brother, he's overcome with love for his brother. And it says, you've never done something so simple, so obvious, not because you're too young or too dumb, not because you're jealous or even mean or incapable of crying in the presence of another man. No, just because you don't know what work is. Where the idea would be that telling your brother you love him, that is the hard work of life. That's the complicated thing that's going to be difficult to do. Uh, standing in line in the rain so that you can work at a car factory, that might seem like work, but really, ultimately, uh, really showing that you love somebody else, that, especially when masculinity is thrown into the equation, that's what the real work is.